Jackson is outside City Hall with more new at 11. Mark Brooke, this injunction, it was introduced just a few hours ago, and what it does is it temporarily grants a restraining order between the city of Dayton and the state of Ohio. But what does that mean? Well, we're digging a little deeper for you. It's a temporary victory for the city of Dayton in its legal battle with the state regarding red light camera funding. And was successful in finding provisions of the Ohio Revised Code related to photo enforcement unconstitutional and therefore unenforceable. The temporary restraining order granted this afternoon by Judge Huffman stops the state from enforcing House Bill 62 in Dayton. According to court documents, the court found evidence the bill violates the city's constitutional rights. That the state was attempting to hinder our home rule power. We had to challenge the case the whole way up to the Supreme Court. It also states that reducing or eliminating the photo enforcement program would significantly increase death or injury to Dayton citizens and the public interest outweighs any harm that the state would experience as a result of the injunction. The bill that takes away a dollar of state funding for every dollar of revenue a city gets from a red light camera is also impacting other Ohio cities. We've been working in concert with the city of Toledo and other municipalities across the state in addressing this issue. So this is going to become likely a statewide issue as municipalities challenge uh, this issue. So what happens now is that the city's legal team and the state's attorney general's office, they'll be presenting briefings on the issue. That has to be done by August 14th. After that, a ruling will be made moving this case on further. For now in Dayton, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.